Welcome to another episode of AZ Rock Hound Expeditions. Today, we're with Lauren from Rocks for Brains. Hello. And we have petrified wood on our brains today. <laughs> we're at Dobell Ranch. We're digging for petrified wood. Woohoo! <laughs> and Brian's already dug a hole. Yeah. Yeah, two feet down, 498 more to go. <laughs> Ta -da. We might get to China today. I'll find something in there. We're going to get to China today. <laughs> We're looking for the big logs. Yeah, looking for the big logs. Okay. And we got Pixie. She's uh, imprisoned. Aww. It's okay though. <laughs> she doesn't like the wind. So I'm a little ways out from the dig spot. See if I can find anything cool, cool. And uh, I found that thing. That's pretty awesome. And my goal is just to kind of wander around and see what else I can find. But this ranch has been in the family for almost a hundred years. Here's a pit that had been previously dug. Most of all these little chips are petrified wood. And moving on. See what's in uh, this pit over here. Ooh. Ew. That's really pretty. I'll get all these wet when I come back. I was on a little walkabout and I found this. I don't know how big it is, but it's 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 a good size chunk here. Oh, it's breaking up. Dang, no, maybe it's not. Maybe that's just... There we go. Ah, oh. well, you kind of get to see what it looks like. Well, okay, so can you can you see that? <laughs> it's red and yellow and black, but it kind of fell apart. So, but still cool. Ryan found that Good one. You. Good job. <laughs> These were all of our our finds. So some in the some in the bucket. Some um, of our finds. This one, I was looking for blue and yellow. I found blue and yellow. More to go for down here. And Lauren over here. <laughs> I'm in a hole. <laughs> she she's uh she's in a hole. I, think... I got my own hole, but I got all this. Yeah. So. Awesome. If you need any excavation done at your house? Uh huh. Uh, yep. Available. Yep. Well, yep. The house is in. in... Rockville, Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> That's a two body hole oh, right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I was planning on just kind of like covering it and them. staying the night um, and just kind of like, you know, osmosis learning where the rest of the petrified wood <laughs> yes. is and, and then continuing to dig to oh, no. Shelters you from the wind. Yeah. I mean, it would be a pretty good shelter yeah. if you needed it. But I mean, it is relatively warm, except that the the dirt's kind of cold. Yeah, the dirt would probably get pretty cold at night. It's wet. And at the end of the day, you don't even see them. They've dug holes so deep, you can barely see them. Lauren's dug himself into a hole. <laughs> Not the first time. Lauren's dug herself into a hole. Yeah. I've gone, I've gone multiple directions. I've made tunnels. They're digging tunnels. And I'm picking petrified wood out of the roads. <laughs> <laughs> Smarter of at the moment. <laughs> 
Yeah. I'm having better luck than me. We're, we're just seeing what, what works here. We're doing an experiment. So if you come here, we'll tell you what works best. <laughs> Digging holes or surface picking? Science! It's science! It's science! <laughs> we're doing science! <laughs> we are losing daylight and uh, trying to get Brian out of his hole. We have, we got enough wood. Hold on, Jules. Are you done? Are you done? No, hold on. Hold on. Are you done? <clears throat> There's always one more piece <laughs> at the end of the day. I don't know how that happens, but it does. I don't know either. Because I just spent 45 minutes finding absolutely nothing. I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this hole. Film that thing. I, I show that. I know. I spent 45 minutes going that way. You, you can't even. You got to take the camera in there because you can't. Because you can't get the sun in there. <sighs> yeah. That is a tunnel. 45 minutes digging in here. That is a deep, dark tunnel. And I found nothing. And this was three feet deep. This is how much backfill I pushed into it. Oh since my I, gosh. Since I started digging. Yeah. Brian has buried himself. I'm staying. You can't make <laughs> me go. <laughs> He's staying. <laughs> they can't make him go. <laughs> His feet <laughs> are in there. <laughs> but he found this one. It's got greens and yellows, oranges. I think there might be some blue. I'm not sure. We ran out of water. Story of our life. Right? Ooh. No. Fake me out. Dirt clod. Yes. <laughs> Responsible rock counting. I'm filling my hole back in. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, you scored much better. So uh, maybe surface collecting is like the way to go. Well. I don't know. It's one way. I mean, it just kind of depends on really what you want to do. Yeah. If you want to spend some time digging, then yeah. go for it. I mean, I spent some time digging, and then I needed to go surface collect, and then I needed to go look at all the other places around here and walk all of Dobell. I needed to see the sites. You did get some really good stuff just surface collecting, but I got some good stuff coming out of the holes. Oh, too, yeah, so, you did. You know. You got some great stuff. It really just depends on what you want to do. Yep. If you come back though, I might go with surface collecting. Yeah. Because this is tiring. It is. It's a lot of energy huh. spent. Oh God, there's one right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you think you had it all. Just one more pet wood. Just one more. Just one more. Just one more rock. Ooh. It is hard to stop yourself from picking it's it up. It's pretty. It is. We'll come out to Dobell Ranch. It's $40 for a five gallon bucket. It was kind of hard to fill it actually. We've been running through all these hills trying to find the best petrified wood we could find in the last five minutes. Oh, there's plenty to find. There's, That's the problem. There's, oh, yeah. there's so much, there's so much. It's all over the ground. You can fill a bucket, we just got focused on the hole. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't fill your bucket, you can come up to the front <laughs> and just grab all these pieces. Look at that log. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, please. I want five of those in my front yard. Oh, wow. You don't even have to go out there in the field. You just come out here and, yeah. and they're already cleaned. You don't have to ruin your hands. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. You should go check out the piles over there. That's beautiful. Look at this log. We're not taking the log. Look at that. Uh, yeah, the drive home would be uh, kind expensive. of. Expensive. It would be shocks. expensive. Yeah. Our shocks, gas. Yes. <laughs> Probably need suspension. Thank you so much for watching. We'd also like to thank Lauren for inviting us out here. This was super fun. And uh, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Throw us a comment. <laughs> Talk to us. Talk dudes. to us.
Oh, and stay tuned for the rock reveal. Coming up next. Until next time. Bye. bye. <laughs>